Hey there YouTubers, I've got a fairly long video for you today. Um, I will give you the uh, TLDR, which is version, which is the too long didn't read version. So basically a quick summary. I'll give you that real first and then I'll get into the more specifics of it. This is a video review of a product that I am not I am not getting paid for this review but I did get the product for free uh, so keep that in mind not getting paid I did get it for free uh, it's a heating pad and it is um, you this is the box UTK I'll try to hold it so you can see it UTK heat for pain relief far infrared heating pad and then it says here benefits relieves pain reduces tension and stress enhances blood circulation you can't see that it's too far away helps muscular relaxation and um, in the corner here of the box it says mo I don't know if you can see this either but it's model H11A1 and on the back of the box um, mentions some other things negative ion technology natural jade stone pain relief tension stress circulation and it does show different sizes that the, of heating pads that they make so there's small, small pro, medium pro medium plus, large, neck and shoulder, waist wrap, shoulder wrap, neck band, heating wrap, wrist wrap, knee wrap, back stretcher, ultra soft series. This one is, it's checked off here, it is the medium pro heating pad which is 21 inches by 31 inches or 55 centimeters by 80 centimeters. Um, in the box is a nice carrying case, which is really cool. I haven't had to use it yet, uh, but it's, it seems pretty sturdy. Um, so now, excuse me, sorry. Now on to the actual heating pad. And again, I'm going to give you the quick review uh, in just a second. So this is the heating pad. And you can kind of gauge how big it is by looking at the bed in the background and me in the background. Okay, so the quick review is, and again, remember I'm not getting paid for any of this. Um, I did get the product for free. The heating pad, I can say with 100% confidence, is the best heating pad I've ever had in my life. It blows every other heating pad I've ever used completely out of the water. This thing is entirely different. So that's the short review. It's amazing. Um, now for the longer review. I have, I made a list on a notepad document of my likes, my dislikes, and the dislikes, they're, they're really like nitpicks. There's honestly nothing that, there's nothing bad about the heating pad. And then some, a couple of neutral things. So I'll get right to it. One of the really cool, this is at the top of my like list, is there, most heating pads have like a low, medium, or high setting, or sorry, low, medium, and high setting. Um, or sometimes they've got five settings or six settings uh, but this one I'll show you real quick oh I need to bring the heating pad over with me to show you okay here we go so this is the temperature control and 
Of course, there's nothing on it right now because it's off. But if we turn it on, you'll see it says 79, that's 79, 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so what you can do is, and this is really cool, I've never seen a heating pad like this before. I'm sure they exist, I just haven't used one. Um, so you can set the heating pad to any temperature up to 159 degrees Fahrenheit again. So you use this button and you can see it's cycling through 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, all the way up 125, keep going, 135, 140, 145, and the top setting is 159. As you can see, and when it gets to the setting that you want it set at, it blinks. But as you can see, 159 is the highest. It won't go any higher than that. Um, now, I'm looking at my notepad document. When you put it at 159, or when you put it at whatever number you put it at, it won't actually get to that. So if you have it set to like 120, or one, let's say you have it set to 140, it'll only get up to about 135, 136 before it stops. Uh, I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's a feature. I don't know if that's a bug, but that's how it is. So keep that in mind. If you do get this product and you're wondering, you know, I want it, I want it specifically to be at 135. Well, if you want it to be at 135, you're going to need to set it a little bit higher than that. Um, okay, so in addition to act having actual temperature control up to 159, you, um, 159 is much hotter than most heating pads these days get. I don't know if the reason that they don't get as hot as they used to, because my parents used to have a heating pad from like the 60s or 70s, and that thing got really hot. Um, most heating pads do not get that way anymore. I wonder, I don't know if that's for safety issues or whatever, but this one does. This one gets very hot and it's cool. Cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's good because I want it hot on my back. Uh, there is a timer shut off. I'll show you right here. So the timer shut off. That's now, so that's if you want the timer off, then there's 15 minutes. 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 60 minutes, 75, all the way up to uh, four hours. Four hours is the maximum timer you can set. Uh, I've tried it at 15, 30, 45, and 60. All those worked fine. I haven't tried it any further than that, um, but I would assume that they also are fine. Um, so as I mentioned uh, what it said on the box um, about the various uh, claims about how it's better, infrared heating is better and blah, 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 than regular heating pads. I was skeptical about that at first, but then I tried this and at least to me, it, it definitely feels different. Um, and actually I had my mom try the heating pad also. I wanted to get her opinion on it and she said it felt different to her than other heating pads as well and so to describe it with other heating pads when you put it in the area or put it on the area you want it on you can feel the heat but it's mainly on your skin with this heating pad it feels like the heat is radiating through your body um, which is it's 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 really kind of a bizarre sensation, but in a really really good way. Uh, that was my next, uh, yeah, that was my next thing on the document. Okay, so now I I don't know for sure if the heating pad is the reason why I've been doing well with this, but backing up a little, I've been having. I'm gonna shut this off 
for right now because it's getting warm and I don't want it to get too hot. Um, I've been having chronic headaches for, well, okay, I'm doing this video on January 6th. You won't be getting it until January 12th. I got the heating pad in the mail on December 26th, the day after Christmas. Um, I've been getting chronic headaches since about June or so, approximately every week. And it's been really, really incredibly annoying. And I'm fairly certain that the headaches come from the tension in my back from all the messed up muscles from various surgeries I've had. Um, so typically when I start getting headaches, I go for a massage to loosen up all those tense muscles and then I'm fine for quite a while after that. Um, so when I was in New Jersey for the summer this year, I went to go get a massage at the place I usually go to and I did not feel well during the massage and also the person giving them, me the massage I don't know what they were doing because essentially they were just gently rubbing my back for about 30 minutes and then I asked them to stop because it, it, A I wasn't feeling well, B it wasn't doing anything for me when I get a massage, I really need people to like knead really deep in my muscles uh, on my back and neck. So basically, I didn't get any relief from the headaches from that massage because it didn't do anything. So I was still struggling with the headaches after that. And, um, excuse me, I would get temporary relief once in a while. Mostly Excedrin would help. Um, but I don't really like to take pain medication if I don't have to. Um, so I, I was thinking about trying to go get another massage while I'm here in Florida. I have, I, I actually had a back massager pillow that I was using for a bit and it seemed like it was helping, but then, um, I got, I still got headaches anyway. M anyway, my point being. The night I got this, or the day I got this, I got it in the afternoon on the 26th of December. I started getting a headache later that day, which was just about a week after my previous one. And I said, well, let me try the heating pad. Maybe that, who knows, maybe that'll help. And I went on it for about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. And I started to feel a little bit better. I was like, oh, this is cool. But I got off the heating pad, did some other things. The headache wasn't really bad, but it was enough to be annoying. Um, so I got off the heating pad and then I was like, oh, well, let me go back later. And uh, I went back later, got on it for about another 15, 20 minutes. Headache was gone. Now I don't know for sure that it was the heating pad that made my headache go away. Uh, but I will say this, I've been using the heating pad every day since. So 26th, 26th, uh, sorry, 26th I had it, so the 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, that's 10, today's the 6th, so 11 days, I haven't even had a, a even, e not even the slightest touch of a headache since I've been using this heating pad, and it's entirely possible that it's just a coincidence, but it's also entirely possible that the heating pad is really helping. Um, anyway, I, I, that was a semi-long tangent, but I feel like it's worth mentioning in this review. Um, so basically, I want to get this review up, and I wanted to do this video today because, mostly because I'm super vain and my hair was looking good today and my facial hair was looking good today, so I wanted to get this done, um, but I want to keep using it uh, and see if it continues to help, because if, if I don't get headaches for like another week or two or three or four, then I would say that for sure it's the heating pad that's helping. Right now, it may be, but it's, it's really too soon to tell.
Um, so it, other than that, it's incredibly soothing, incredibly calming, incredibly relaxing, um, which is why it's good that it has the timer because uh, a couple of times when I was lying on it, just it's actually been very cold. In, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to shake the camera. It's been very cold in Florida recently, so aside from hoping for the headache relief, it's been helping my back pain because I get a lot of back pain when it gets cold. Um, I do want to mention, oh yeah, okay, so moving on to the dislikes, and again, these are nitpicks, because this is really an amazing product, and I do highly recommend it. It does take a long time to get hot. Uh, it takes, I timed it, it's about 25 minutes to go from the lowest setting, which was, let me turn it on again. Uh, I think the lowest setting was 77. Let me just check that real quick. Oh, it won't go. It won't go lower than 100. And yeah, okay. Uh, I it, it was either 77 or 79. I'm not real sure right now. But to go from the lowest setting to the highest setting, which is 159. And again, it never quite gets to 159. It tops out at about 155, 156 or so. But to, to get from the bottom to the top setting, it's about 25 minutes. So um, I would suggest if you get this, when you want to lie down on it, put it on your bed or wherever it is that you have it. If you have it, I have to keep moving it from my bed into my closet because I don't have an extra place to put it uh, where it can just sort of live. Um, so I would put it on. Make sure you, if you, I like it on the highest setting. My mom only wanted it on about 120. I want it on as high as it can go because I need that heat. Um, but I would suggest putting it on, put your uh, desired temperature in there and then go do something else for five or 10 minutes and then go lie on it because it does take a while to get warm. And I have that under dislike. It's, I mean, it's nitpicking because that doesn't really matter. Um, additionally though, because, I don't know if you can see, there's little pieces of jade throughout the heating pad, which is supposed to help with healing or good feelings or some stuff like that. I don't know if it does. Maybe it does. I, I really don't know. Um, but because of those little pieces of jade, if you lie down on this without a shirt or a towel or something like that, uh, if you just lie down with your skin on it when it's not, when it's at the lowest setting, the jade is cold. So that's not really a pleasant feeling. And so again, I suggest put it on, put it at your desired setting, go do something else for a little while and then come back and lie down on it. Or if you don't want to do that, you can wear a shirt, excuse me, <coughs> you can wear a shirt or put a little towel or something like that. Um, and that was my next thing. So I don't know if you noticed, here's another nitpick about a negative, a minor negative, is that um, it's heavy. It's it's very, very heavy. Uh, I can lift it up. I'm, I have a fairly strong upper body. It's heavy. Um, so do do keep that in mind. And again, if you're able to put it someplace where you don't have to constantly be moving it, it's not really a big deal. Um, okay, so here's another nitpick. This was not, this is not how the product came. This was not connected to the heating pad. I had to plug it in and um, it was difficult. I, for, for a hot second or a hot minute, I thought I was, I was worried about breaking it because I was having trouble getting it in. But eventually it did go and everything was fine. But just be aware that if you get this product or a similar one, 
when you're plugging this in, it's going to be difficult. And I say that as, again, someone who has a strong upper body. Okay, I, I mentioned that it never reaches its actual high temperature. It'll always top out a few degrees below. Now, the, here are a couple of neutral things. There is a memory function. I don't know if you can see, but right there, memory. I haven't used it yet, so I, I can't really comment on that. Uh, and the other neutral thing is, now this could be great for some people. It's not really great for me because of how I set it set up yet, but I don't know if you noticed, but the, the electric cord is incredibly long. It reaches all the way over from my night table to over here by the computer and there's extra there's even extra room I mean it's let me see if I can sort of so it's still plugged in and I'm all the way by my dresser it's the the electric cord is exceptionally long which again for me since I have it plugged in right by my bed is not really necessary, but for some people it might be. If you have to plug it around uh, furniture or something, that would be really handy to have. Okay, that's it. I've covered everything I wanted to cover. And again, uh, the summary is it's a fantastic product. I will have the link in my description. Um, I do highly recommend it. I was skeptical at first, but it it's it really is it, it really is fantastic. I'm I I'm I'm shocked <laughs> at how good it is. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Check me out on Patreon and be sure to stay safe out there.